Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Frida and I am back with another video. Today we are finishing up the patio. I did upload or I did post a video on the part one. So this is the part two and the final review. So I'm going to be setting up my day bed, which I am super excited about because I don't usually spend a lot of time outside. So this will be the reason for me to go outside. So I'm really excited for this. I hope it all goes well. Fingers crossed. We'll see. Today is day one. Today I'll be um, unboxing um, the items and then you know, starting the process. I'll just walk you through what I do. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch till the end so you can see the big reveal. Do not skip this video. Just make sure you watch till the end. And also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And thank you if you already subscribed and hope you enjoy this video. All right, no more talking. I talk too much. Let's, so let's start with um, unboxing the items and then I'll just show you guys what it looks like and we'll go from there. Stay with me. So guys, I will have links to all of the items used in this video if I can find them in the description box so make sure you go check that out if you're interested also if you notice i am doing this in my living room or dining area and that's because it was pouring all week and i didn't want to take this outside so i just did it inside um yeah so i'm using a wood stain to stain the wood the wood came unfinished that's the option i chose because it was cheaper and i get to paint the color of my choice so yeah i'm just going to paint the top part of it and then let it dry overnight and come back and paint the other half of it painting the top part of it and it's looking good so far um, I'm just going to let it dry overnight and then come back tomorrow and paint the other half um, yeah I'm just tired I'm done for the day so I'm going to head to bed now and I'll see you guys tomorrow okay guys so it's day two and we're going to try to finish this up let me show you what it's looking like um, so that's what it looks like I don't know if you can see this, but some places are more stained than others, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I think it looks fine for now. So I'll just go ahead and flip it around, paint the other half of it. So this is day three of this project and I am so ready to get this done. Hopefully it all goes well. Um, but I'll show you guys what it's looking like right now. I just I just let it dry overnight so it's like ready for today. Um, but I have this picture in my head of what I think it will look like or what I want it to look like. And I'm just praying and hoping that it just all goes well, which doesn't always happen, but that's okay. So yeah i'm just so ready and so excited to just get this done i think this is like one of my favorite projects so far um it's just really really i'm just really excited for this one but yeah let me show you guys what it looks like and then we'll get to assembling it okay so so that is what it looks like that's what it's looking like so far as you can see it's very dry it's not coming off which is good um so yeah, now let's just get to put this together and see how it looks, and see how it comes out rather. <laughs>
So guys, here's the issue with this. We are having a hard time finding the studs that run um, this way. Uh, so I thought there was one where this lights, uh, where that bulb is, where the lights is, but apparently there's not one there and the closest we found was this one. I don't know if you see the strip that runs this way, but um, there's a stud there and so either I put the edge of the bed here which is so close to the door and then um, have enough space for my grill this is my grill, I have a grill um, so it's either I do that, put the edge of the bed here um, which is somewhat in front of the door and then still have some space for the grill or I move the edge of the bed to the next dot which is right there so this is a 48 inches apart and then there's one in the middle which is um, 24 inches apart um, so the next one will be here but if I do that because this bed is so wide it's about 75 inches apart um, or 75 inches wide um, that will put the next um, the next next um, edge of the bed right there and there's not going to be space for the grill so I'm thinking I'll eventually move the grill to this side maybe I'll put some concrete or something here to put the grill or have an extension of the patio to put the grill but it'll make more sense to center the bed in this um, in this area here so that's like what we're struggling with we had a hard time finding the finding the studs but eventually we did so what we had to do is we had to drill a hole first of all we just you know we found this ones where we have the strip here that's covering the strip and the strip so after finding this ones um the studs here so we um we had to find the next one which was in between but like i said this one was where i would prefer to put it so i can have space for my grill but this one here is too close to the door i don't know if you can see that but see just imagine this going down that's like right by the edge of the door and i don't want to have the bed in front of the door i want to have some space or separation from the door as well so what we're going to do is we'll move the edge of the bed to here which is right by the edge of the window so that's that's some separation from the door which is perfect but then <clears throat> that's going to take up all the space and there won't be any more space for the grill so this grill will have to go to the side so yeah and then the other thing is the thickness of the stud um, uh, from what we saw it's not wide enough so there's two ways to have this this um, bracket. You either have it like this, where it would swing swing this way to the side, sideways, or sideways, um, or you put it like this, so it can swing front and back, which is how I wanted wanted to swing, but no, the the stud isn't this wide or this thick, or uh, not thick. Um, the width of the stud is not wide enough so I don't know if that makes sense what I'm saying so we'll have to end up putting this this way for it to like this and have the bed um, swing sideways and that way we can be sure that this is being placed on the stud so anyways yeah let me let's go ahead and install this now and then you guys will see what it looks like but that's the struggle and that's what we're dealing with here I just want to show you so we have a stud there for sure which we just found and then the next one is right there so alright let's get this over with So guys, this is day four and 
today I'm just so drained. Um, you feel like things are just not going your way, like everything that can go wrong just goes wrong at the same time. Like that's how I felt yesterday and you know there's a point where I just wanted to just give up and not complete this project but you know I knew it was going to be hard and you know, you know it wasn't going to be easy but I didn't think it would be this stressful. Um, but yeah I just the whole issue with the um, finding a stud and then you know aligning the bracket properly to make sure it's actually on the stud and then my drill was not strong enough it didn't produce enough power to um, to screw the I'll put the screw in so I had to go rent another drill so I took two trips to um, to Home Depot and then yeah it was just so stressful but anyways today hopefully I can get this completed today you know I was thinking this would take about three days but here I am day four and still not done yet but that's okay I'm still excited though I think you know in the end it'll be worth it and you know all the stress and everything when I do see the big reveal I'll be happy hopefully <laughs> But I um, just wanted to talk to you guys. If you're ever doing this, make sure you get a drill that is strong enough, you know, to do, you know, just make sure you have everything you need and, you know, anticipate the unexpected, whatever. I'm hoping I can get it done today and just assemble everything and, you know, make it work. I think the, the most, um, I think the hardest part is done which is finding that stud finding the stud and putting the brackets there so now I just need to just put everything together and we should be good um.
so that's it for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this also let me know what you think in the comments section and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and finally please consider subscribing to see how i transform the rest of my house i will see you guys in the next one